Hello friends, it's Tanya from Dolly Days Nursery. I should have started this video a little earlier because I am making homemade beet. And here they are, all cooked. And I just cleaned the skin off them. And now I am making the, um, the liquid vinegar, sweet vinegar syrup or sauce or whatever <laughs> that goes in it. So I'll take you over to the stove. So here it is. Um, this is just equal water, equal vinegar and half the amount of sugar. So this boils and um, those beet over there, I have to slice them up and prepare them for the bottles. The bottles have been washed. Um, this will continue to boil. That has to be like boiling, boiling, boiling for when I put it into the, um, the bottle with beets. And these are the lids here of the jars. And that will boil. I'll turn that on. Turn that on, that will get boiling. And, uh, yeah, so this is not very nice if it flicks on you while you are working. Um, I have beet juice all over everything. It was all over the wall. <laughs> that wasn't good. It's still gone down inside the wall here by the stove, so yay, we have to pull out the stove again and wash down the wall because you don't want to leave that red beet juice on there. So we'll let that continue boil. I'll put the cover on. I will turn it back out and I'll go over and start slicing my beet. Okay so we are back. I should have started this earlier. I could have had everything recorded right from the start. And now I am looking for I will just use this. Okay. Gloves are used for more than painting dolls. You don't want red hands, so we just slice the beet. Trim off anything that you don't really want there. These are the ones I don't like. Um, you can see right here, it's very, it's almost like sticks, straw, or whatever you want to call it. And I don't like those. So, hopefully, we won't have very many like that because that will ruin. Had those before. My last batch was really, really good. I had no issues like that. Our lids are galloping. So I turn them back. They need to be hot when we put them on the bottle. Hmm. See, the 
stringy stuff. Smell of the vinegar. I'm very particular when it comes to preparing my beet or anything. So this uh, stringy stuff that's coming from some of these, I don't like. I will throw the whole thing away before I put it in there. Uh, this, this process takes um, the beet we're on boiling for three and a half hours. And no, that's longer. What time is it? Oh, Whew. Uh, I think I took these off at 10:30, so they were boiling for four and a half hours. They went on. At, I, put, I turned them on at six, and so 10:30 I took them off. So it is a long process. Um, <laughs> normal people would probably do this during the daytime, whereas I <laughs> tend to do these things later, and uh, it runs me late, so that's my fault. But there we go, another stringy. doing it. But anyway, it uh, it takes anywhere from three to four hours to boil these. And um, again, you do your the liquid. After they are cooked, because it is sugar and it will Boil away. See, some of them are so nice. The knife just glides right through there. So, I will finish slicing these. I'll let you know when I get them done. Okay, so here we have our beet. All, all sliced. Nice. There. And, um, this is our wastage. This one here, I couldn't even cut through. Some of them I just decided not to use. So, the next tent thing is we just fill our bottles. Stuff them. Hopefully, I'll have enough bottles. This is my second batch, plus I did pumpkin pickles. So, I'm right in the uh, pickling mood this fall. Oops, there that goes. Clean your sink little before you begin, that way any you lose down there, you can wash up. But I probably will not retrieve those, simply because I have plenty here. And you're just watching that part. You 
always want to protect your countertops or workspace wherever you are working because the red dye will stain and you don't want that to happen. Bleach probably will not. <laughs> about for you so that you need to be mindful of so I lay down placements and then paper towels just to be sure I did mustard pickles one day and the mustard the yellow mustard ran down the sides of the uh, bottles and uh, even though I picked them up and wiped off the countertop the yellow stain is still there so you don't want that I will have trying trying to keep the smaller pieces for my small bottles Some of those beet were quite big. I like doing the baby beet. The baby beet come out really nice. They're just so small and dainty. This is the easiest way to do this. Don't want to be waiting until until the juice is ready. You want to have your bottles stuffed so that it's a pretty quick process once oops once you do that because once you put the liquid in. You have to get your lids on very quickly so that the heat will make them seal. Just maybe I might need some more bottles. Mm -hmm. There's also many of the stuff in there because you have the liquid that needs to have the space to get in there. <laughs> These little bottles would be snack size for me. I love the beet. Everybody do, of course, around here. pretty empty here so it's looking good I just might have some beet to snack on <laughs> taste testing ones right everybody has to have a taste tester whether you're baking or cooking pieces here. <laughs> oh, that one can take more. I'm just afraid that the 
Hope I'm not good with death. Get trapped. Okay, we have them in. I thought I was going to have to go grab a Okay, I have this little gadget here. Um, by the way, this is what it looks like when it's finished. That's from my last fetch. This little thing with the magnet at the end will save my fingertips. Vinegar up my nose. Okay, this is how we do it. We have to have the pot even though so it doesn't tip. That could be a bad accident. Okay, so we have the bottles all done up, we have our liquid there, and we have the lids. Now it's fast work. This stuff can burn. Do one at a time. See this guy here? That's how you pick it up out of the water. Just like that. Let me get that on. Move it over. These are very tasty once they're done. A little more complicated with a camera in the way. Tripod. <laughs> Hot. Before we know it, we'll hear the pop, pop, pop.
of the lid's ceiling. Some people use some uh, water that they were boiled in to add to the bottles. I don't like that idea simply because sometimes you get ow, sometimes you get that um, ground dirt like taste and I don't want that. Not many do. <laughs> and some people use brown sugar rather than white sugar. That's totally preference. I simply always have white sugar. Usually only buy brown sugar for baking, so it's usually what's on hand. about the magnet it picks up more than you need this is not as messy as doing the uh, mustard pickles pumpkin pickles that is messy If I thought about it, I could have done the same thing as I am right now, but it picks up too many. Well, it was the last big bottle. Bottled is always tastier. Some people like eating the beet just as it is cooked, but ugh, I need the vinegar and sugar <laughs> to add that taste. That's a big one. Anybody watching this video, do you hear the music in the background? <laughs> that is my Christmas DVD with the um, fireplace playing the Christmas music. <laughs> I know. I start early though. It's calming. Now that I'm down to my second last bottle, I'm making a mess. Ooh. 
This is so much easier than trying to use a fork or or the um, what do you call tongs? Trying to get the lids and and rings of holy water. There we go, folks. They are done. Done, done. There it is. So thank you for joining me. And hope to see you soon. I'm sure they'll be tasty. <laughs> but anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for joining me. See you later. Bye.